We found a lots of fish. So colorful. See that? Wow! This is gurnard fish. Gurnard fish typically feed on various small prey such as crustaceans, mollusks, and small fish. They use the bottom part of their face, which resembles a suction device, to forage for food on the seabed, often by digging or searching among sand and mud. Once they find their prey, gurnards typically use the back of their mouth equipped with small teeth to catch and consume their prey. Wow guys! There is manta ray. Two horns on manta rays are used as a tool to filter plankton and other small microorganisms from the water, which they then consume as food. These horns also aid in navigation and stabilization while swimming. Additionally, the two horns on manta rays can serve as a means of communication and recognition between individuals. Guys! This is crab. The presence of claws on crabs is not just to decorate the body, these crab claws play a very important role in hunting. Maybe there are still some people who don't realize it, but crab claws are very strong and large. There was even a study to measure the strength of this animal's claws. Wow guys! This is decapodiforms. Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. Wow guys! This is large mouth base. All types of large mouth base come in unique colors and patterns. Typically, all species of this fish have a similar green color with horizontal spots. Largemouth snapper is famous for its bright green color and horizontal spots on both sides and has a white underbelly. Subscribe guys! Look guys! There are a lot of fish here. Wow! Guys there is blue whale. In the 1900s, there was a massive blue whale hunt. Records show about 380,000 blue whales were caught. The aim of hunting blue whales is to extract fish oil which comes from the fat of these giant mammals. Blue whale oil is widely used in oil lamps and to make soap and margarine. Wow! This is koi fish guys. Koi released into the wild may be more susceptible to diseases and parasites they don't encounter in a controlled pond environment. Additionally, they may not have the same survival skills as wild fish in dealing with predators, overall, while koi can live in the wild, releasing them into such environments should be done with careful. Wow guys this is lemon shark. The favorite habitat for lemon sharks is sandy waters with a depth that tends to be shallow. Apart from that, even if forced to move, lemon sharks will definitely prefer to be around coral reef areas. When they are small, the habitat choices of lemon sharks are actually different than when they are adults. Wow! There is Mosasaurus. Even though it is quite long and heavy, who would have thought that Mosasaurus was included in the group of dinosaurs with slender bodies? Moreover, because its body shape is quite slender, Mosasaurus can swim very agile and also quite fast. Wow! Guys this is Blue Spotted Ray. Blue spotted rays are natural prey for hammerhead sharks, bottlenose dolphins and orca whales. So they protect themselves using the sting on their tail. The sting contains low levels of venom, which is not fatal if stung in non-vital organs and does not have a specific allergic syndrome. Subscribe guys! 
Let's look over there. Guys, there is starfish. A unique fact about starfish is that the shield is a stiff shell that has a rough texture, even thorny, depending on the species. Starfish have a layer of calcium carbonate with tiny spines that deter fish, birds and even sea otters from attacking them. Wow, this is turtle gaze. Turtles don't change shells like some other animals shed skin or outer skeletons, like crabs or insects. A turtle's shell is part of their body and grows with them throughout their life. This shell consists of two main parts, the carapace, top part, and the plastron, bottom part, both made of bone and covered by horn plates called scuts. As turtles grow, their shells also grow. There is dolphin guys. Some researchers have found that dolphins have the longest memories of any species, apart from humans. A study revealed that dolphins can recognize the voices of their close friends, even after being separated for 20 years. A number of scientists have concluded that this extraordinary memory can be linked to the evolution of social relationships among dolphins. Wow guys, this is catfish. The size of catfish can vary depending on the species, environmental factors, and growth conditions. Catfish typically range in length from a few centimeters to several tens of centimeters, depending on their age and species. Some catfish species can even grow up to around one meter or more. Wow guys, this is dugong. Mermaids are classified as mammals, so dugongs have mammary glands. Apart from that, mermaids also have teeth, tusks, and bristles in their mouths. This aquatic animal is a true herbivore that has a large body, long life, and is adventurous. Subscribe guys! What's this guys? Wow! Guys? This is shark. Sharks are important predators that can maintain the balance of the marine ecosystem. Unfortunately, many sharks are hunted and traded without paying attention to their sustainability. Besides being able to damage the balance of the marine ecosystem. Guys! There is lobster. Lobsters usually have two pincers of different sizes. The larger one is a crusher, used to crush prey. The smaller one consists of two claws, functions as a cutter or conqueror. Its purpose is to tear prey and shape it into small pieces. Wow guys! This is octopus. Octopuses live in oceans all over the world. Some octopuses live near the surface of the water in shells, reefs and crevices. Some species live on the ocean floor. Octopuses tend to be solitary, although they sometimes interact with other octopuses. Guys! This is ammonite. Ammonite live throughout the seas and swam by squirting water in one direction, to push themselves along. Ammonites appeared 425 million years ago and were very common ocean animals throughout the age of the dinosaurs. Guys! There is hermit crab. Hermit crabs breathe using gills when the hermit crab is still in the larval phase. Once mature, the gills of hermit crabs adapt to the hermit crab's habitat, so hermit crabs can live on land and only need a little water to keep their gills moist. Thank you for watching guys.